Hey everyone, if you can hear me. Something a bit different today. Yeah, push bike. Why not? It's raining a bit. I'm trying to stay in shape and all, so I thought I'd uh, get me old bike out and uh, go for a ride. Stop for a quick breather. And yeah, walk around the uh, of the beast. Now, no kickstand. So I'm going to put it down. Oh. Yes, it is a Trax TFS1. Halford's 100 quid job. Got it a couple of years ago now. Just as a bit of a run around, a bit of a laugh. Nothing serious. And uh, it's great, it comes with the back tyre on the long way around. So the first thing I have to do is take the back wheel off. Swap the tyre around so it's facing the so the tread's going the right way. Uh, haven't used it that much. It spent most of its life in the bike shed, gathering rust. As you can see, look at this. I'm surprised if this is gonna hold together. So yeah, don't worry. I'm not. I'm not downgrading from a motorcycle to a bicycle. I'll have to come out for a bit of a bike ride. Lovely weather for it. Yeah, totally not in the, the right attire for cycling in the rain. Jeans, they're going to get heavy very soon. Jumper, that's going to get soaked through and get heavy. Yeah, the seat on this thing isn't very comfortable. I bought one of those gel seats from Lidl. Doesn't help at all. Spreading. Crop dusting, whatever you want to call it. Farming stuff. Everything up with mud. <laughs> oh, I did not expect it to be this bad down here. Maybe I should turn around and go back the, uh, the other way. Oh. I have a horrible feeling. Should have done a left back there, not a left to right. <laughs> yeah, it is caked in mud. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should have gone round to the left there. Yeah, which means I've got to ride back through all that mud. Just for the record, in case I do slip over and fall down here, I have no idea how to ride a bike on terrain like this. I'm just used to good old fashioned concrete and tarmac. Come on. Yeah. Hopefully that's the worst of it. Gate open, make it easier. What am 
I doing? Why am I doing this? This is turning out to be quite a little adventure. Uh, it's kind of like a green lake video, isn't it? Dirty, rusty bike. I've got a great place to dump a body. Um, right, email time. Let's see what we've got. A message from Ricky Moto. Okay, he wants my address. Don't know why. Uh, Lens cap off. Reading my comments out in the middle of nowhere. Look, power of the uh, 21st century and I mobile internet. Happy St. George's Day. Curiously enough, the only English flags to be seen flying in my village today are from a house occupied by a Spanish couple. Bless them. <laughs> yeah, strange, isn't it? Benny Boy Biker. Happy St. George's Day to you too. I'm glad someone done a video for it. Haven't seen any flags flying today. It amazes me how we as a country don't celebrate this day properly. I would love to see some remote control stuff. I'm also considering this in some of my videos, but I don't want to look like I'm a copycat either. <laughs> And uh, I did get a comment early from Mr. Richie Moto about that, saying uh, if you have an interest in radio controlled flying stuff, then you should share it if you want to, sir. Who cares if anyone says it's copying? It is just you sharing your interest. Well, yeah, he's right, and I wouldn't um, let, just because a larger motor vlogger out there happens to have uh, done some remote control stuff on his channel, <coughs> I wouldn't let that stop me doing it on mine. Because I, I did think of the idea ages ago, to be fair. But, uh, oh, right. this ain't gonna go well. Uh, yeah, I, I'll still do it. I just uh, wanted to make people aware that I hadn't just watched Spicy's channel and saw him do his remote control stuff. Oh yeah, that's a great idea, I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll get a ton of subscribers. That's not what it's about for me. Oh, God damn. Some beaver's been busy. Right, there's just a landslide, and I think yeah, there's obviously a tree that fell in into the ditch. So yeah, I will do the uh, remote control helicopter thing that I've got. It's not going to be anything spectacular. It's just a little remote control thing. I'm just going to dick around with it. Right, onwards. Now, do I ride off here or do I push it off? Okay. First stunt of the channel. This, this is a stunt. Horribly wrong. End up on my ass. Don't know what the landing's like. It could be pretty soft. But here we go. <laughs> now, I thought that'd be all right, but being to the back end started to go while I was pedalling on the bridge. I thought uh, maybe it's not a good idea. No, <laughs> chickened out. So I could bunny hop off it and whatever, but I don't think I don't like the lack of traction on that bridge. Yeah, used to do uh, used to do stunts and that, like riding down sets of stairs and bunny hopping off of walls and stuff. It was good fun. Destroyed the bikes, of course. Ah. Yeah, you used to do all sorts of bunny hopping, riding downstairs, jumping downstairs, all sorts of crazy stuff. And that stopped when I picked up a skateboard and started doing the same sort of thing. And then that stopped when my knees decided it was enough. My knees are absolutely knackered. A bit like me at the minute. Great idea. Weeby time. If we still do that. Yeah! I am Jake the Garden Snake. On a mountain bike. In the words of Danny Glover. So off this shit. It's a really weird place for a public footpath to go through. It's like the middle of a nursery or something. A plant not much in there, in fact it's just weeds. Man, maybe that's what they're growing. There's a weed in there. Well, I'm not sure how much longer is left on the drift battery, so I'll save this now. 
Thanks for watching everyone, hope you've enjoyed this. It's a little bit different. Uh, right safe and all that. Whether you're on a uh, bike or a motorbike. Take care, I'll see you on the next one. Right safe, like I'm saying.